come out here to Kansas to go hunting and this is what I'm dealing with. 10 degrees, 30 mile an hour of blowing snow. Wow, I can't believe this ghillie suit worked. I can't believe it worked. I thought he was going to try and eat me. There's too much green in this ghillie suit. And I think he thinks it's honeysuckle. I don't know. I was pulled back. Only shot I had was a head shot because of this branch. I've been sitting here for five days. This is the first deer I've seen. Three does came by in front of me. And then he was trailing them. He wasn't rutting them. I think he was just following them for security. Comes right up this ditch. His head's at my knee level. He bolted. And I just knew he'd stop and look back. He must have smelled my ground scent or something. He stopped and looked back. I know I hit him. I know I hit him. I heard it hit. It's just I'm afraid it's too far back. So I think I need to give him some time. Oh my gosh, I hope this is on camera. I hope this is on camera.
This has got to be the hardest tracking job I have ever done. I get to here and I get all excited. And I think this is where he died. Right here. He died right here. And look, he rolled down the hill. There he is. This has got to be the hardest tracking job I have ever done. Look at this. I knew it was a long shot. I got this deer. That's it, mutant from last year. All right. I don't know where I'm at. He is a stud. I'm gonna have to get to cutting because we got a storm coming in. He is a stud. He broke it off in the fall, I think. This is the hardest track job I ever did. 12 pointer. 12 pointer. Don't know how I'm gonna get him out of here. Get him out of here. He's in a thicket. Get him out of here. Twelve pointer. Just longer O giants are better for them. Okay. Well, if you take your cartridge case and you design your cartridge case so that it's so long, you can't fit the long O giants. Sure is pretty though, isn't it? Okay guys, this is where I was sitting, right here, my hide. And those three first does came out, but they were skirting, they weren't in the actual cornfield. They were in the grass here, deep. And that buck, he was even deeper, almost to those trees. He was behind that thicket right there when I realized he's a buck, okay? And the thing about this spot is, The reason I have to ground blind this, there's nowhere to put a tree stand. The only way I could get a tree stand is maybe that tree right there. And if I ladder stand it, I'll be right there. And I'm completely level with the ground at that point. And if I like use 10 sticks and get up 40 feet up into that tree, I'm gonna be skylined. There's just nowhere. He was. He was down in here eating these briars. And then he came down this path right here. 
here's his tracks right here as he's coming in see the elevation difference between where I'm at this is why his head was so low and it wasn't until at some point he was in here and it was about here that I realized he was uh, I thought he was a 10 not a 12 but he came in he came in right here he's hugging this edge and I'm sitting right here in a ghillie suit that Norfolk whatever ghillie suit man that is the stuff it was about right here that's why his head his head is like here that's when he did that double take and he didn't like something I think he saw my knees because I don't ghillie my knees up and that's when he bolted he came back and went running out here We'll go look at the blood in a minute. He went it right out there. That's where I made the shot. So this is my hide right here. Had to carve all this out. I really regret that I did not have my camera mounted right here. I wish I would have. That's where I did the day before. But see, for the last... Parking too ready to go. I've sat here four days in a row and haven't seen a thing. I think one day might have been a doe or two go across over here. I was right here, and I shot through this opening right here. I cut this opening off. It's a good thing I'd cut this opening because the first day... I was sitting here and each day I moved back further and further and further and eventually I was right here. If I wouldn't have cut that hole and I'd been right here, but I could not move. I couldn't do anything because those three does that went through, I got three does right here. And that's why I'm a scent control fanatic. I don't believe in the sprays. I don't believe in ozonics. Take a shower, stay clean, wear clean clothes. Don't wear the same hunting clothes over and over and over. Take a shower, stay clean, don't sweat. I mean, the wind's blowing that way and not a one of them. So I had three does there. I knew I couldn't move. And out of my peripheral vision, I knew there was a doe right there. So he was right here, bounded off. And the rest is history. I'm so glad I cut that shooting lane out right here. Because this is where I had to shoot from, right through here. And the first day I was sitting here, and see, I'd have gotten busted. I'd have gotten busted. So when he bolted, he was here. One, two, three three yards he was three yards from me three yards on the ground three yards from me wow I don't think we can find blood because we had an ice storm and a okay we're gonna cape them out here get this we're gonna do a Y incision Bring it back. First thing I'm going to do is I need to measure this neck though. So I know what size form to get. And I think we'll do a little antler repair there. He, It's laying in the ground out there. He, when he fell down in the ravine, he busted that off. What do they call that when they're flat like that? All right, I've done cut the lips around the mouth. I'm just going to need to take a couple measurements so we know what size form to buy. Follow me along in the process. I'll make a video on how to mount this 12-pointer up. Caping one out is not really hard. Uh, the only hard part is the tear duct. You want to go around the eye with your thumb inside 
from the back side, but the tear duct you need to get from the inside. You need to cut the lips from the inside before you start on the back. My hardest part of the whole thing is getting the burrs. I have such a hard time getting those burrs loose. I have tried the screwdriver. I've tried everything, and that's what got most of it off. These are the tools I used. Most of it was done with that, like the tear ducts. Why cut was with that. A lot of the fleshing is done with that knife. That's the gut hook I used to butcher them. I like to open them up with a gut hook. And then a Gordon's Food Supply paring knife. A lot of it's done with that. Of course, you're going to need a, whatever that's called, um, hacksaw okay once we got it all caped out we're going to fold the ears on itself and we're going to fold it in on itself and we're going to stick it outside and let it freeze for the trip home it'll roll up into you want to flesh off all the meat you can i know you see a lot of pink that's the salt pulling the blood out but it got in the dirt so i need to throw some salt to help control the bacteria Don't try and make YouTube videos while you're going down the road. Boring. Kansas can be some of the most boring train to drive through. Far as you can see, the only trees are around waterways or buildings. Far as you can see, I'd hate to live here. I mean, the next Walmart is an hour away. I think there is a Dollar General like 30 miles away. Well, we got like uh, five more hours to go. This is like a 14 hour drive for me. Subscribe to the channel and watch me as I mount this 12 pointer when I get home and follow me into the 2024 deer season. It's still cold.